Hello, I'm Sarah Black. And I'm Theo Black. And here is our review in under three minutes for Film Worker. No spoilers. A documentary about the career of Leon Vitali, one of Stanley Kubrick's most trusted film workers. I enjoyed this. It really is about Leon Vitali, who was an actor in Barry Lyndon, and how he got sort of enamored by Kubrick and, and who he was and his style, and then worked for Kubrick for the next 30 years. And it's fascinating. It's, their relationship is fascinating. Who Leon Vitali is is fascinating. And I like how the documentary sort of brings it into this area where it's kind of about the people who work under the line. You know, not the lead actors, not the director of photography, none of that. It's about the assistants, the grips, the best boys, all of that. It isn't, it doesn't go into detail in that, but it sort of uses Leon Vitali as an example of that. Huh? Yeah, definitely. I also enjoyed this, and I think that the relationship between the two of them, as shown through Leon Vitali, was really the interesting part of this document. I mean, it was what the whole documentary was about. Leon Vitali is kind of this unique situation because maybe he would have been a bigger actor. But instead, he devotes his life to Kubrick and seeing everybody else's reaction to him and his decision to do that and put up with Kubrick and kind of, as you said, what that might say about other people who don't get their name in the lights. Right. And what that could mean to them was really interesting. His philosophy was interesting. He, he, he didn't look at himself as this man who was abused, which is what a lot of people in film might look at that and say, because Kubrick was known as being very... I don't know if tyrannical is the word, but he was a man of strong feeling, both yeah. maybe good and bad. Yeah. And Leon didn't look at it like he was, I mean, he, obviously he knew he was being beat up at times, but he also really enjoyed the work and he really enjoyed, I don't know, being a part of that. So it's interesting his own philosophical sort of understanding of that situation, how even now he carries on the legacy of, of Kubrick by making sure that the prints are right. The documentary itself is at times hard to follow along with. Yeah, a lot of the interviews are bleached out and the angles are But there's are also weird. just like not I mean, a lot of dates or sometimes yeah. it's hard to tell who's talking. The person who put it together did manage to get a narrative out of it. Yeah. And that's impressive. Yeah. This documentary assumes you already know something about Kubrick, so you probably should going into it. But if you do, you'll likely enjoy it. Yeah, watch it and then go rewatch Room 237. If you've seen this or Room 237 and want to talk with us about it, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, where we might use spoilers. Huh? You can find me at Pigeon underscore Sarah. And me at Pigeon underscore Theo.